Is it working? Oh shit, it's working. There we go. What's going on, guys? So, we're gonna do a scuffed, spontaneous cooking stream. Never done this before from my kitchen, from my phone. It's probably not gonna sound that great. But, um, I was planning on doing everything from the start, very beginning. So all we're gonna make is some mashed potatoes and some stuffing. That's all. That's all we're doing here. And uh, I was gonna prep everything from the beginning, but my lady already started the, the potatoes, and she prepped me some onions and some celery. So here we go. Danky Edwards, what's up, dude? Welcome to my first ever kitchen stream. So this is gonna be a little scuffed, like it says in the title. The back camera on my phone doesn't work, so I can't really like take the camera and be like, look at what we're doing. It's just gonna be this, like doing stuff like this, shit like that. And I know the lighting here kind of sucks, but we're just gonna have to deal with it for right now. Um, but yeah, actually give me, okay. Um, let me, here, we're gonna go into the, office really quick I'm gonna make a post on the discord I don't want to make a post on discord here on my phone since I have it live right now but we actually have to get to the mashed potatoes pretty quickly because they've been boiling for a while and I think they're ready I think they're ready to go how does it sound though can you hear me okay I know it's not gonna sound the best as good as like my microphone does usually it's it's with my phone how's the connection is is it stable I've never done this before um, okay let me open up discord really quick I'm not gonna make a post on Instagram I guess I, I'm I, it's a little late for that Perfect. Good to hear, Danky. Thank you. All right, we just made that post. Now let's go back into the kitchen. You seeing all my crazy lights that I have near my office? Oh my God, I'm seeing it on my big screen over here. I have my laptop that looks crazy. Man, I wish I could do something about this light. Like I can make it a little lower. That's actually a little better. Okay. So, these mashed potatoes are fucking done. Okay, we got KitchenAid mixing bowl right here. I bought this KitchenAid from my grandmother when I was probably like 15 years old or something like that. Still have it, it's like the best fucking piece of cooking gear ever. Um, okay. I'm not ready for this. I'm really not ready for this. I, I didn't plan this out at all, I just woke up and I was like, all right, we're getting to it. We're gonna cook, and then my lady had started a lot of it. And now I'm like, okay, what do I need to do for the mashed potatoes? Let me get out all my stuff. Got the flax milk.
Madge, what's up, dude? How do you have, from just chilling and watching probably, what is it? Is it the normal Twitch channel points? Or is it uh, the Streamlabs points that come in chat? So what we got, what we're working with here is these are gonna be some vegan mashed potatoes. Got some flax milk we're gonna put in there. Got some vegan cheese. We got American style cheddar. Follow your heart, very bomb. Then we got some earth balanced butter. Okay. Let me just make sure that these are Mash oh yeah, oh yeah. These fucking potatoes are ready, bruh. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not ready for this. So let me just make a mental game plan of what I need to do. Because I would have liked to have the stuffing already going with, with the mashed potatoes, but now it's like, I just got my, my bag of stuffing right here, which this stuff is so bomb. Boudin sourdough stuffing this is a, a factory in San Francisco near the the Fisherman's Wharf I've been there a few times on tour back in the day when I was playing in bands playing in San Francisco and uh, I never went to this factory but you pass by it whenever you go to the Fisherman's Wharf I used to go down there every time we'd play a show and get like a, a, a crab or lobster bowl like in, in a, a big thing of their bread it was like a bread bowl soup thing so bomb okay Hmm. All right, yeah. Okay, about to take the mashed potatoes right here and just strain them. You know, we didn't really do a Thanksgiving dinner this year. Um, uh, my family, we're all just trying to stay safe and everything like that. Um, like my grandma and some of my other, like my mom and them, they all went and like made each other some stuff and went and delivered it. I'm not really trying to participate in stuff like that. I'm just trying to be as safe as possible. Um, so I'm just cooking for myself. My lady doesn't really like Thanksgiving food too much. Um, whenever we talk about Thanksgiving, she just... Uh, talks about colonizers and stuff, which is totally understandable and I get it. Um, I just only care about Thanksgiving for the food, really. Which is stuffing and mashed potatoes, all I really care about. I wish I had a nice vegan pumpkin pie, though. I really do. I love, uh, I love some pumpkin pie. But yeah, um, so I was up all morning, I streamed late, stayed up really late afterwards, went made a trip to the dispensary like right when it opened up this morning, and then uh, didn't go to sleep till like 1pm, so yeah, I just woke up a little bit ago, so that's another reason why I'm, I'm just now doing this. But, like I said, to me, Thanksgiving really doesn't mean much, it really is just a colonizer holiday. 
but uh, I I do think um, I heard Hassan say it the other day on his stream. Uh, Christians know how to do holidays and party, <laughs> and that's uh, all I'm gonna say to that is uh, the food is amazing. I love stuffing; it's my favorite. So, um, okay, so we're gonna make a move now. Here's the mashed potatoes. Like I said, my camera. It look. I'll switch it around. I'll show you what happens. My camera's broken. Whoa, it's a little stable. Whoa. Usually my camera's like freaking out. It's a little bit blurry. Holy shit, no way. That's dope. Oh my god, dude, whenever I try to... Oh, is it shaking? Hold on. Is it shaking? Let me see. A little bit. It's not as bad though, like when I just try to take normal pictures with it. Okay. Here, we're bringing the mashed potatoes over here. Let me find a good place to set this. It's not the best angle. Okay, that's good. Preheat the oven. Thank you so much, Supernova. Why don't you come out here and, and get on stream with me, Supernova? I know you love being on camera. Happy Thanksgiving, Wild Dingo. Preheat oven, 350 degrees. Okay. Let me get all my ingredients over here. Babe, if you're still watching stream Supernova, um, I thought we got the follow your heart, like sharp cheddar one, didn't we? I thought that's what you got. Or were they all out of that? Okay, so first things first. Now let me know if when I flip my camera, if it's like, can you hear the stuttering that goes on? Cause like, whenever I turn my camera on, my phone makes like a brrr, like a vibrating noise. But, so here's what we're working with. Got the vegan butter, got the flax milk, so. I'm just gonna have to set the phone down though to do this. Oh shit, what happened? You don't need to be gen or you don't need to go uh, be conservative with your portions. Be very liberal. Be very liberal. Make sure you shake up your flax milk just in case like there's any separation. Shit, here, let's fix this angle a little bit better. can we get me in there more? Okay. Oh, salt. Duh. All 
Alrighty, here we go. KitchenAid is about to go on. Look at that steam. Get it, look at that. You see, what kind of, oh my God, that steam coming up, ooh. Nice, huh? <laughs> Ah. Now we're just gonna... Oh shit! Good call. So we're gonna take the cheese and just kinda pour it in that little hole you saw where the steam was coming out. So you can get some cheesy mashed potatoes, vegan. Adds flavor. Excuse me. How's that sound? Sound nice? Ooh, I just got flax milk on me. Okay, here, hold on, give me a minute. Forgot how to make this stuffing. Sorry, I'm sure that sound is very insufferable. If you want me to move my phone, I will. Let me say something in chat. Guys, I think we've started a new era in chat. I think I'm gonna start doing my cooking stuff like before stream, like when I'm making my smoothies and my salad and whatever. I think I'm gonna start doing that on here.
think I need it to be a little bit creamier. In a little bit, Supernova, my girlfriend's gonna be coming out on stream and hanging out with us, everyone. Get excited. doesn't even need gravy and stuff. Oh my god, bro. Holy fuck, man. That was insane. Okay, let's put the ingredients away. What you guys know about drinking pineapple juice? Are we still alive? Are we still here? Who's with me? I thought Zoop and all them would be in here quick, but no, they might be still be eating. Who knows? Just currently transferring the mashed potatoes into a Tupperware glass bowl. Ooh, these are fucking crazy how good they came out. Not gonna lie though, I wish we could have had like the the potato peeling part on stream too. I wanted to do that. But I woke up late AF and I came out after showering and my girlfriend was like, oh look what I did for you, be happy. And I was like, oh yay. <laughs> the like one time. Zoop, what's up dude, I did it. We're here, we're doing it. It's working, right? It works fine, looks good. Happy Thanksgiving, dude, are you done eating? Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room. I think I'm gonna need to get a second container. Nice, dude. I just made these mashed potatoes. They're so bomb. Um, 
Oh, nice. You guys played Monopoly. Sweet, dude. Um, I need another bowl. Give me a second. Oh, you won, you little capitalist fuck, you. How many people you put into poverty? You feel good about yourself? <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, I was planning on coming out and doing all of this from the very beginning. Sorry the angle's a little fucked up. I, this angle over here is not the best. There we go. Um, camera might fall, though. Uh, I was planning on doing all this myself, doing the peeling the potatoes, cutting my onions and celery for the stuffing and all that. But I stayed up till like 1 p.m. today. I went to the dispensary early this morning after stream and just did some other stuff. And uh, slept until a little bit ago and I woke up and came out and my girlfriend had already prepped all the stuff for me. I was like, wow. And she had no idea I was going to do any kind of a stream at all. So I was like, oh, cool. I was like super like, of course, I'm like happy and appreciative. But at the same time, I was like, fuck, the one time I like wanted to do it all myself, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Actually, this house is from 1975. And it's it originally looked very like it was from 1975. Um, when my, my grandma was the original owner of the house, or is the original owner of the house. And, uh, over the years, like about probably like 10, f no, more than 10 now, like 15 something years ago, she took a loan out on the house, gutted the entire kitchen and just redid it all. So here, let me, let me show you like a long shot. Like I said, my front camera or the back camera is very fucked up. So it might, it seemed to work a minute ago though on live. So here, check this out. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's like stuttering, right? And the house is a little dirty right now. Like behind our, like there's my office over there. Behind the curtains, we have some big beds like like piled up right now because uh, there's the painting I was telling you about. And we're like, so we moved beds out of the room. So the house is a little messy right now. But this kitchen used to look like a straight up kitchen from 1975. And then like 15 years ago, my grandma redid it. Okay, hold on. I need to go grab my phone charger because my phone just said it was at 10%. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Well, hold on. Mashed potatoes right here. That's so crazy that my camera is perfect because whenever I use it, like just in my normal phone camera to take a picture, it just stutters and goes like vibrates like crazy. It's that's so weird that it works on live stream. I wonder if it's something because I'm capped down at like 30 FPS right now. I don't know, maybe. Oops, sorry, that was probably loud AF. All right, we're coming back over here. And what I'm gonna, the lighting's gonna be a little scuffed again. We got this thing here. There's nothing I can really do about it except, like, I could turn it off, but then, here, let me check this out, actually. Nah. Just gonna have to deal with this.
Should it be? Ooh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Is that what people usually do? Go to Space Boy's channel. He was just doing this at his house. And I don't know what section he had it under. I don't think I could get in trouble. I'm pretty sure just tatting IRL could be considered the same thing. Oh, damn. I hear some, uh, some, uh, what's it called music? Uh, some, some, like, more modern, uh, mariachi music. With some electric bass. People are partying. Why? It's Thanksgiving on COVID. Don't party. The people behind me do this shit every, all the time. They do parties all the time. I know he's playing GTA now, but earlier, oh, but d is his last VOD, or it might be the same VOD, actually, where he just switched right over to GTA, but, uh, yeah, he was doing it earlier, if it's a separate VOD from, like, earlier, maybe, but I don't know, I think I'm fine. So, what we have to do now is, like I said, my lady already prepared our onions and celery for us for the stuffing got my mixing bowl got my boudin sourdough stuffing from San Francisco putting you on some game right here chat boudin in San Francisco Zoop you live by there you go to the Fisherman's Wharf when you're driving there on the way. There's a factory called Boudin. They make bread. And then you drive a little bit farther down to the Fisherman's Wharf. You can get bread bowls, sourdough bread bowls filled with soup like clam chowder, lobster soup, crab soup. When I used to go on tour, I used to stop there at, like every time. I'd make a, like a, my, everybody, we'd drive. It was my van, so I was like, we're driving over to the Fisherman's Wharf. And uh, I would get a bread bowl, and sometimes I would get like crab and lobster soup mixed. Oh my god, bro. And it's like literally like you're on the pier where they catch it and shit. Oh my god, so good. But I'm vegan now. I'd still eat a bread bowl if I went to the Fisherman's Wharf, though. Okay, so we have our organic vegetable stock, vegan. We have our onions, we have our celery. We need a pan to saute the onions, olive oil. So we got the olive oil right here. Sprouts olive oil. Nice, dude, what'd you eat, Zoop? What, what, like, what, say it all out. Because for me, I'm just doing the stuffing mashed potatoes. I, I'm not eating. And, like, there's some, like, vegan, like, turkey things that, like, come, and it's, like, this, like, loaf, and on the inside, there's stuffing, and we've had them before, but I just never, I don't really care. Guys, I need to shave. Fuck, man. I've been doing this, like, no-shave November thing. Ooh, I remember you told me about the Swedish meatballs. That sounds... I Swedish meatballs were, were always super bomb back in the day when I ate meat. That's, like, something that I, I do kind of miss a little bit. Just that sauce, that, like, sweet, like, meatball sauce they put on it. Normal meatballs and, like, spaghetti and stuff, I, like, I don't really care about. But that, like, sweet Swedish meatball sauce is so good. Um, okay. Focus. Time to focus. Oh, shit. Phone's probably gonna die. Gotta plug it in somehow. How? What's the best way for me to do this? I don't really know. Okay, I'm about to plug this in. Let me know if the audio quality just got, like, worse or something. Like, can you still hear me? I wish I could stop this light. Is it good? Let me know. Fuck, if it's not good, 
and I can't charge my phone, then we're fucked. Okay, good. So, all right, first things first, I gotta, oh, I think I gotta clean out this pan really quick. Yeah, I gotta clean out the pan. All right, give me a minute. off real quick. Damn, I'm so shocked that the mashed potatoes came out that good like i said when i started this stream it was super spontaneous it was just like just gonna go i didn't have a mental plan ready for food especially because i came out and stuff was already done so i was just like what am i gonna like i don't have a plan and i just like free balled it with those mashed potatoes and they came out so good i was worried i over salted them too but they're perfect i was gonna do that that salt video that one from the master chef the kids where the kids like hey Alrighty, let me get my measuring cup out. Wait, people shake, wait, what? Is it because of what I did? What did I just say? No, I know, but what made you say the people shake? Why, what, what, what did I do? Um, okay. Oh, was there a small earthquake for you? Or are you talking, did my camera shake? Did you really have an earthquake right now? Oh, damn, bro. Okay, um. So what do I need? I need for the whole bag of stuffing. One and a quarter cup chopped onions. bit more.
Zoop, what's up? Did you see all the stuff I said about uh, Daisy in the Discord? About how the Vendetta Deer Isle is all gone. They like made a vote in their Discord if, to get rid of it, and they did, and they're replacing it with a Chernus one uh, uh, first person. Uh, it's not really done though. They have like a whole thing, like an announcement saying how it's still being worked on. They say it's playable though. But other than that, I think I do want to try out day one again. I know I said like right off the bat last night it sucked, but I think I was just in a bad mood because of the stream last night just not really going well. We couldn't get in a game together and stuff like that. Uh, me and Ref. And then, um, uh,. It was night right when I got in. I was like, I'm sick of this. I can't handle the night time. Um... Oh, nice, dude. You want to make a horde and we can play together? What are you thinking about making? Let's be strategic about it. Or we don't have to. If you want to make something that you want to make. Uh, um, oh, that's perfect. Or I don't know. Uh, he's a paladin, right? Oh, no. If you want to be a paladin, you have to be on the alliance. You can't. I don't think that they have. Uh, yeah, paladins are only alliance. They don't have those on the horde. So, I guess we're going to be enemies then. For the Horde! Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a, a Retribution Paladin, right? Retribution is his, like, specialty, but his class is Paladin, and I think you... I'm pretty sure Paladins are only, uh... Are only... On the Alliance. But I've, I I want to make an Alliance character, too. So I'm down. But I, I, I kind of want to focus on my Warlock for a while. I mean, if you're only going to make a paladin, then yeah, I guess. But it's like, why do you have to make the thing that S-Fan makes? Like, paladins aren't that cool. And honestly, the horde has the equivalent, which is even... It's not even the equivalent. It's even better. It's the shaman. I'm going to make a shaman character eventually. But uh, I want to be on the horde because Project 30 and all them, they're all on the horde. And... Uh, if I saw myself, like, joining a guild ever, it would be Project 30. Did you start playing? Oh, what class? So, oh, there's new ones, too. Um... I don't know. There's a whole bunch of new ones also. Like there's warrior, mage, warlock, paladin, shaman, hunter, demon hunter, death knight, rogue. Do it. Check it out. Make your character. 
As, uh, S-Fan gets shit, though. I don't know why. I don't know too much about the specifics of the classes and why ones are better than the other, but I know S-Fan gets a lot of shit for the class that he plays. People, like, say it's a very unusual class with the spec that he chooses, I think. Do it. But I'm not gonna lie, if Ref can get uh, Daisy working, I wanna play that. I'm down for some WoW tonight though too. I just I really want to get some like group Daisy shit in. That was so much fun. That could be good. Like that video we did, that's like good YouTube content to me. Like a lot of my other solo Daisy stuff, like I'm gonna post it on YouTube for like once I get my hard drive. But at the same time, it's like not as entertaining as like when we were all together fucking around. Even though we didn't run into anybody, we just shot each other. <laughs> Okay, onions are in the pan. How much celery do I need? Only three quarter? The fuck? Oh my god, way too much. Not enough. That's good enough. Pineapple juice that I took out a minute ago. Hey, let me, uh, what does it say? In saute pan, add onion, celery, three tablespoons of olive oil, salt, saute over medium heat. So you guys can see. What we're, oh, there we go. Now it's shaking. Keep it this way, though. Oh, but shaking a little bit. But that's what we're working with. Dude, you're that fixated? Dude, really? You want to be a human that bad? Fuck that. Undead is so much cooler. Be a human in real life, bro. But I want to make um, on the alliance side. I want to make one of those Worgen characters for sure. They look fun. I'm gonna make a Worgen Death Knight. Back 15 years ago, when I used to play, I used to have a gnome warlock on the alliance. It was so great. Alright, pineapple juice time, boys. Your ladies will thank you.
Hey, bro, I'm an undead, all right? You, you don't got a fucking body shame, okay? It's like you're a zombie. What the fuck do you expect, bro? Look at this. Mm. Blood Elf? Dude, Zoop, I don't want you fucking... I don't want you sitting here hating the game like you do DayZ. Because you you have to play a class and shit you don't want. If you hate that shit, just play Alliance, bro. Blood Elves are tight, though. I remember they were introduced in the Burning Crusade expansion. That was like, I, that was the first expansion that came out, like after the original World of Warcraft. I played it for like two months and then quit. But are you trying to like join S Fans Guild or something, Zoop? Oh fuck. Death Knight, first you have to get to level 10 before you can unlock it on one character, like a normal character, but then I think you have to actually pay also. Like I think even if you get to level 10, if you're on a free account, you might not be able to. But maybe, because I'm at a, I'll check. I'll check when I get on in a little bit. Because uh, I'm at like level 14 or something, or 12 on my Warlock. Dude, leveling used to be so hard back in the day. Oh my god, getting to level 20. Warriors are good. Those That's pretty, like, typical. It's like you're going to be a tank, usually, is what it's called. Like, if you're going into a raid where you do, like, a dungeon, they're going to have you be up front fighting the, the boss while, like, there's healers healing you and I'm in the background shooting off my dots. Uh, mages are doing their AOE, DPS. Um, so you're going to be what's called a tank. Like shamans can be tanks, death knights are tanks, warriors. Um, I mean, even I've seen rogues be tanks before, which is crazy. But I remember back in the day, my friend Steven, his rogue that used to tank all the time. It'll be perfect if you're a warrior, then uh, then like you'll be my tank and I'll be off in the back sh shooting that shit with the the damage. But wait, so are wait did you are you doing since you're doing warrior is that like on the horde or did you decide alliance? Sick, dude. Cool. I want to play World of Warcraft with you as well, bro. Wait a minute. Hold on.
just feel like this is way too much broth. Oh, wait a minute, no. There's no way. Is this what your pee looks like, Zoop? If it is, dude, you should go to a doctor. I don't believe this. That is so much fucking broth, dude. What? That's fucking insane to me. I've made this stuffing multiple times and I don't remember it ever having to use one and a quarter cup of fucking broth, dude. I feel like that's gonna just fucking ruin this. onions and the celery saute a little bit even though it's looking pretty good but man that just seems way too much Alright, what's up chat? Ooh, these are about done, I can smell it. But I'm still kind of tripping out over this uh, one and a quarter cup of chicken broth. That's a lot compared to like how much stuffing there is. I feel like it's going to make my stuffing so soggy to the point to where it won't cook all the way. Hmm. 
How's stream running? Is it smooth? Ooh, it looks like we're dropping, we're going down in, in bit, bit, bit rate a little bit. Who's that in the chat? Polly Spiff, what's up, dude? Your name is like hella blue. It was hard to read. I had to like get really in there. Okay. Dude, I'm tripping out about this one and a quarter cup of broth. I feel like it's gonna ruin my my stuff. Let's get the olive oil going. And like a quarter thing of olive oil is insane too. I don't want to do all that much, dude. That's too much. Do a little bit more. Get olive oil all in the pan. Hearing their mariachi music, someone's having a party. I don't get it. Why they would do it that this year? Um, I will be right back, chat. I have to go, and I'll be right back. Give me a minute. All right, we're back. Oh, shit.
Who's with me? Zoop, is this what your pee looked like? Like you said, is this what reminded you that you had to pee? Because if it is, you gotta go to the doctor, bro. Way more red, ooh, oh that's good, you're fine. I wonder if we've gotten any notif or donations or anything like that that I don't know about because this is scuffed or something and it's not working. Alright, we're gonna move the onions into the stuffing bowl now. The onions and the celery. There we go. And to me, it just looks like this isn't enough. Like it's saying, it feels like it's saying there's, it, we need way more vegetable broth than we, we need. But it's like the little amount of onions. It's like, what? This barely covers like the top layer. I might have to, we have more that I can saute up very quickly. We might be doing that. Let's add some broth in here. You wanna be careful with your broth. It's, this shit can get like way too soggy, too quick. So you don't wanna pour it in too quick. Oh, well that's okay. You know what? This is some hard bread. I, I stand corrected actually. I wish I kind of had a bigger bowl. I don't stand corrected, I think, about the onions and stuff yet, though. We'll see once this bakes down. No! No! I lost one. That's what I didn't want to happen. Oh, what am I doing? Hold on. You know what? We're sauteing up some more veggies. This isn't enough. It needs to be done. Hopefully this is good.
So what's going on? Who's in chat? Who's hanging out? Damn, it says we have eight people in here. But every time I'm looking over at my, uh, my, my laptop, it's super choppy. But my laptop is usually pretty choppy. So, what's the, how is it on your guys' end? It's all right, but is it choppy though? Is it is it definitely cutting in and out or like lagging? Cause man, if it if this is good, I'm gonna be doing this a lot when I cook. It's not? Okay. That's just my laptop then. Because even when I'm on my normal shit and I have it on my laptop, it's a 2009 MacBook Pro, so it's it doesn't handle streams that well. So like even, yeah, like when I'm streaming from my normal computer and I have that up on the side just to like look, it's usually a little choppy, but... Right now, I feel like it's just like way worse. Every time I look, it's just like... Okay, I was wrong. That's actually like a pretty good amount of uh, broth, and I think we do need to add the extra that I took out. I took out about a quarter cup. I only did a cup. Might need a little bit more. Not a whole quarter. We'd be ready to throw this in the oven now, but, oh no, fuck. I lost another good piece, damn it. Um, but I'm sauteing up some more onions, it, it, it needed it. I'll show you guys what we're working with again real quick. Actually, where am I at with camera? Okay, I'm gonna unplug this battery for a few minutes so you guys can see. That's our stuffing. Extra onions and uh, celery that we're sauteing up real quick. Might add a little bit more broth. Does it happen to anybody else that when you cook, you just gradually stop being hungry? Like I was super excited for all this food and now I'm like cooking and I'm just like, I'm not that hungry anymore. But I will be hungry later. Ow, Well, I just scratched my face. I think I have like a little pimple there, it hurt. Ouch. Who's kicking it with us right now? And this like revolutionary stream for us. I know Zoop's here. He's doing his tutorial. Back in the day for World of Warcraft, each race had its own starting area. 
not each race, like some of them shared like the dwarves and the gnomes on the Alliance. They had this like snowy area next to this big base, I think it was called Iron Forge, if I remember correctly. This is big, it was a huge snow area. I'm sure you can still travel there. It's in the old, uh, what's the kingdom, Northern Kingdom or whatever it's called, that, that area on the map. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, I gotta go plug my laptop and it's about to die. Alrighty. I wish I could get some better angles. I wish I could have like a a fucking NMP style stream where we have like the angle on me and then like I could have an angle on the food. But this is just the phone right now. Maybe in the future. What you gonna stream, Madge? Nice, dude. I might eventually get the itch to play that game again, you know? Might happen. I remember the first night we ever played that, I got motion sickness or something. Or I, oh, it was either motion sickness or the cucumbers that I ate in my salad that night were bad. I don't know. I got sick as fuck after playing that game the first time. And then Hassan got sick as fuck too, so I was like, hmm. Maybe there's something to this. Oh man, I wonder what the sub count's at. Since I'm not on my computer and stuff, I don't have any of those overlays. But I'm expecting a crazy subpocalypse in the next few days. We're gonna drop. Phasmophobia is the new cocaine. That's a bold statement. I don't know if people that actually do cocaine would, would agree with you on that. But that would be dope. If it was, then that would help a lot of fucking people that are addicted to cocaine out, for sure. Cocaine's fucked up. Never done that, don't ever plan on it. I've seen a lot of people do it and fuck themselves up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think after the cooking stuff, I'm gonna have to end stream and then start it back up on the computer. But I think we're gonna do WoW, so play some World of Warcraft with Zoop. Cause I don't think Ref's been in here at all. And uh, that might mean he's still frustrated over not getting Daisy to work. So 
Yeah, I think no Daisy tonight. I really want to though, man. I fucking I want to play Daisy so bad. Just not by myself. Oh shit, you do match? Oh shit, here we go. That's it. We're Madge and I, new Daisy partners. Zoop's like, fuck yeah, I'm out. I don't have to, he doesn't have to ask me to play DayZ with him anymore. Even though he bought it on his own accord, I didn't even like ask him to buy it or anything. He just kept bugging me. Like, Should I buy it? It looks fun. And then we play it once and he's like, I'm done. I hate all the servers. Which I'll agree, there's things about each server that I don't like. There's not like one perfect one that I found yet. But we're gonna stick with uh, Hideout and Day One. If you're down, Madge, I wanna do some uh, of the Winter Chairness stuff. Winter Chairness seems really fun. I've been watching Shroud play that. Oh shit, these got extra sauteed, holy crap. And then we also have Ref who plays as well, but last night he couldn't get into a game. Like every time he tried to load into a server, it would say something about him having a VPN, even though he was like, I don't have a fucking VPN. Uh, it was weird, I didn't understand. Man, yeah, I guess you didn't see any of those streams because there was like a good month or two where that was like basically the game I was playing when we weren't doing just chatting stuff at the beginning of stream. I would switch over to DayZ. And uh, I had a lot of fun on my own, but then it just got to the point to where it's like, man, if you really want to be successful in this game, you need a group. Like, unless you're a fucking god PvPer, which I'm not. I suck at PvP, especially in that game. You fucking have to like have a range finder to see how far away somebody is to like get a an accurate shot off on them and shit like that. It's fucking intense. But it's fun though. The game is just so involved. And there's no tutorial for anything like so it's it can be really confusing trying to figure everything out. All that stuff. Yeah, see, I like the survival aspect, too. But you have to PvP, though, or else you're just gonna get annihilated. At least that's how it is for me. I just get fucked up. Or we could go into, uh, there's roleplay servers. There's one called Stalker Z, Ceasefire. Okay, give me a second. Forgot it. This recipe says to put some lemon zest in it, so I'm just gonna cut a lemon real quick. say man is like you guys are probably gonna be good the survival rate is very high like usually it's just the usually immune compromised people that you have to worry about like me uh, older people um, but like jobless Garrett just got it 
and he didn't even have to go to the hospital or anything. He just stayed at home. Um, so you're probably going to be fine, man. It's just rare cases where like it affects, it just affects everyone differently, but usually you're in an age group and so is your dad most likely where you guys will probably be fine. There might be some lasting damage like effects to your, uh, um, your like lungs or if it like uh, attacks that area of your body a lot or something like that. But, uh, one thing I will say though, is take the quarantine and all that stuff very seriously. There was like some people even that I just mentioned who have caught COVID recently who are like, man, as soon as this is done, I'm going back to the gym as soon as my two week quarantine's over. And it's like, what dude, how are you dumb? Good, zoo, or a good match. That's good, dude. You're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. You're gonna feel like shit for a couple days. A week, maybe. It'll be good. Alright, this stuffing is gonna go in the oven. Let's show you the you guys, the final result before it goes in. Alrighty. See, now we have 20 minutes, even longer. We have like 40 minutes while we wait for this to get cooked. And that's why I was hoping that I would have done the stuffing first and had the mashed potatoes going so I could have gotten the mashed potatoes going, like finish those like right now in this like next 40 minutes. But my lady being the awesome and kind, beautiful person that she is, had all that stuff prepped for me when I woke up. So now we're going to start just cleaning up because there's a big mess here, I'll show you. This is magic. I don't know if we're going to do Daisy tonight. I already kind of talked to Zoop about us playing World of Warcraft. He's like uh, getting his character ready right now. 
So maybe we'll, but the, in the future though, maybe like maybe tomorrow. Um, had we talked a little earlier, we could have locked it in, but I already kind of told Zoop we were gonna play WoW. So uh, we're probably gonna do that, but tomorrow I'm down for sure. Tomorrow night we play some Daisy. Maybe even tonight after some WoW. Um, but it's probably too late for you anyway. Like it's, isn't it like 12 something for you right now? It's only 9.48 for me. But, uh, but yeah, sorry, man. I didn't mean to get your hopes up or anything. Um, cause I do, I, but I am excited to play with you, uh, Daisy, because like I said, I've been really waiting to find somebody. Oh yeah. You're central time. You're not, you're not Eastern. That's right. Um, let's see, should I, is there like a better camera angle I can get for washing these dishes maybe? No, that's dangerous. That's going to fucking fall in. Um, it's pretty good. Okay, we'll do this. Matt, oh yeah, Madge, we can definitely do some role play for sure. We can definitely. A Y L U. What's going on? We're cooking just some mashed potatoes and some stuffing. Nothing crazy. Gonna make some sandwiches out of it. Zoo made a girl character, obviously. How do you say your name? Alu? Alu? Well, this is actually my first ever cooking stream. I've never done this before. Alu? Cool, perfect. Thanks for being nice, uh, nice, Madge. And have fun doing some phasmophobia, dude. Wait. What do you mean, Zoop? You see what, Zoop? What are you talking about? Don't say that word in chat. No, no mukbang here. Uh, we usually just do uh, video game or just chatting streams at the at the desktop over in my office. But uh, I felt like doing a spontaneous little cooking stream. We're not really doing Thanksgiving like my family this year, just the, with the, everything going on with COVID. Um, my girlfriend doesn't really isn't really into Thanksgiving food all that much. Uh, we're also vegan. Um, but I love me some stuffing and mashed potatoes, so I just feel like making that for myself tonight. And uh, then we're going to play some games while I eat. What was I gonna say? Uh, um, I just had something I was gonna say. 
to Elu. Uh, I forgot. But yeah, Zoom, don't say that word, please. What do like you know? What? I'm confused. I, I don't even know what's going on. Like, did you really type the G word? Because we don't we don't refer to things as that in this chat. There's no way that you typed homie and it blocked it for you saying the what? I'm so confused, Zoop. You're a mod. You know better than this. What's going on? But oh, I was gonna say to uh, uh, Alu. Um, not sure if uh, they followed yet or not. If they did or not. Not trying to pressure them into following, but if they did and I didn't acknowledge it, it's because this is the first time I've ever streamed from my phone and I don't think alerts work at all. So I have no idea what's going on. If anybody follows any of that, I have no fucking clue. You did? Well, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Sorry if uh, you did it a few minutes ago and I didn't acknowledge it. I just... That's why I said in the title, I don't know if alerts are going to work and stuff. Oh, Zoop, I remember that part. I just did that the other day. The part where you uh, you get on the little helicopter thing and you do a bunch of mass AOE damage. So now we're just in the portion of uh, waiting for the stuffing to cook. My mashed potatoes are already done. Got another 11 minutes on the, the stuffing before I gotta take it out and mix it some more and then it goes back in for another 20. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Hold on a minute. Hold up. Did Alu just get a gifted sub? Who did it? Who did it? Here, we're gonna go do something. Who did it? I, I have no idea who it was. Here, let me go to my computer. Does it say? No more hippie chicks did it. All right, here, we're gonna try something. We're gonna try something really quick. Whenever people give subs or donate or anything, we always go crazy and dance but i don't have anything set up to do that currently but here maybe you're just gonna hear the sound from my laptop Wait, what? What's going on? Hold on. Okay, we're starting over. No more hippie chicks coming in with a tier one gifted sub to Alu. Thank you so much. Welcome to the community. Can you hear the music?
All right, there's that. Let's get back to our shit. It's really funny. Good. I'm glad you like that. Okay, cool. It's usually a way... Everything sounds way better and stuff when I'm on my desktop stream. But this is literally my phone. Um, Man, I need to shave. I have not shaved all of November. This is it. This is what I've got. Looks pretty scruffy and gross. I need to get rid of it. Um, My dad turned off the switch to my room on purpose? Is he mad at you? <laughs> room tour. I mean, my office is not cool. Here, actually, I can show you now. Hold on, let me move my laptop. Let me make the lighting a little better. This is my setup. And I have my laptop right here always. Bunch of bookshelf, file cabinet full of stuff. I'm like a little soldering station. Picture me and my mom. Little area, workbench stuff. It's dark as fuck, you can't see. And then right here, like I was saying, we're painting, so we have we've moved beds out of rooms and stuff like that. So the house is kind of a mess. Like I usually have guitars and stuff all back here. There are guitars and there's a big telescope, my girlfriend's telescope, but we had to move some of the guitars out to right here for now. But yeah, everything's all a mess. Okay, let's get back to cleaning. How much longer we got? Six minutes before we got to stir. Oh god, it's gonna fall. Here we go. Hey Lou, don't worry about it. You don't gotta I'm I'm honestly uh I consider myself a very ignorant American. I don't speak any other language other than English either. Um I wish I knew other languages. I wish my country like forced me to take um other languages as a kid in school, but they, they did not. Um, so I wish I could speak in your language. Do we have a... A bot command for sub count? Like, can Zoop go like exclamation mark sub count or something like that and it work? Because, like I said, I haven't been to my computer at all day, so I have no idea if Subpocalypse has even begun. Nope, doesn't look like that works. Okay. We'll just have to wait to see where we're at when we get to the computer. Because we were at 52 last night, but any day now, it's just going to drop. Uh, which one is it to show everybody? Score, I think, maybe? Is it score? You gotta know how to spell Zoop. <laughs> Shit, Pago, my bad. Is Supernova still in first though? That's the que real question.
God damn, dude, that's bullshit. 10k. I get in stream before her. She's my mod, god damn it. Mm. Ooh, that was probably really loud and annoying. I'm sorry. That noise probably sucked. It hurt my ears. What does the water sound like? Is this like water ASMR for you guys? Is it really? Nice, dude. I remember there was a couple times where I was watching NMP's stream, especially the Thanksgiving one, where he was like thinking the mics were too loud and it was picking up too much of this like type of ambient noises. And I was like, no, dude, that sounds good. Like everybody wants to hear that stuff. Some of it, it can be annoying, of course, like that loud noise I made a minute ago. But... Guys, I'm feeling really comfortable with this. I was a little nervous before stream to start, but this is, this is like, this is chill. We're chilling. I just need to get like a, my DMCA free playlist going on some nice speakers that aren't my, my laptop ones. And we could have some music going while we do this. Oh, it's about time for me to stir my stuffing. I'm gonna leave the camera right here while I do that. Sorry. I don't wanna, I just wash my hands. I don't wanna move my phone, which has been touching all these places and I haven't cleaned my phone today. I should have cleaned my phone before doing this. Ooh, it's looking good. Oh wait, hold on. I need something else. Just mixing the stuffing real quick. What's the view count like right now? Where are we at? Like, what are we doing? I have no, my laptop's gone. I can't see anything. Oh wait, no, it says right there, five. We got five people, nice. What you cooking? We're doing uh, just some mashed potatoes and stuffing. Right now, where I just literally just uh, took the stuffing out, uh, mixed it a little bit, put it back in the oven for 20 minutes. We're about done though. I'm just cleaning up now, kind of talking. But uh, as it says in the title, this is my first ever like cooking stream doing anything from my phone that's not at my computer desk. So. Sorry if it's scuffed. Seems a little weird. If you followed, um, I have no idea that you followed and I'm really sorry. So if you did follow, just make sure to say that in chat and I will thank you. But I have no alerts or anything right now. Which, like I, I put no thought into this. I woke up and I was like, you know, I wanna stream myself cooking this. I'm like, all right, we're doing that. But calcium tax, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for chatting. Man. Oh my 
my cutting boards not cleaning that well. I let the potato stay on there too long. Thanks, Calcium. Have fun lurking, dude. That's what I do for most streams, my dude. Yeah, okay, we're pretty much done with the food now. Now, like I was saying earlier, fucking cooking all this food just made me not hungry. I was like very excited to eat it. Now I'm just kind of not as hungry as I was. So yeah, question, I don't know who else is in here, but Zoop mentioned it earlier that maybe this should be in the IRL category. Should this be an IRL or just chatting? What's the what's the consensus on that? Because I'm gonna start doing these more. Whenever I like before going live on my desktop, I'm gonna stream myself like making food. Maybe I'll just start freaking waking up in bed and starting a live stream, you know? <laughs> oh, we're low on battery. Gotta plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Getting low on battery. Getting low on battery, are we? Ooh, that was hot. Ow. 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 This is chill. I feel way more comfortable right now than I do sometimes when I'm just chatting at the computer. This is tight. All right, sorry. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick break and I would bring you into the room with me, but my lady's not really too big. Um, on being on camera. So I'm gonna go into my room for about 30 seconds just to maybe like stretch my lungs a little bit. Zoop, yes, dude. Party, 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 poo. Uh, 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 uh. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, all right, I'll be right back.
Be right back. I don't think you guys can even hear. Can you hear that? Um, yes, actually, so I explained it earlier. Um, this house was bought by my, by my grandma in 1975 the original owner and this used to be like a 1975 kitchen for real like looked old there was no counter space we had like an oven up against the wall right here it was there was just no space in here but about like 15 something years ago my grandma took a loan out on the house like after way after she had it all paid off and stuff but she took it one out and remodeled the whole kitchen my front facing camera is a little broken but here She's actually a very great freaking designer. The lights, she's a lighting designer, so she, she always gets cool lights. Um, but yeah, this was a very old school looking kitchen back in the day. Ooh, I just hit my guitar. Um, system of a, I don't know any system of a down songs. I could learn some, but I never learned any. I never, I never learned songs. I always wrote my own, literally. Like that's all I ever did. There's times where I've learned parts of songs where I'm like, ooh, that riff is dope, and I learned that riff. And there's a ton of system of a down riffs that are exactly like that. But uh, yeah, I was always just like writing my own riffs and stuff like that. Can you guys hear it though? Probably, it probably sounds like shit. Oh, you can, nice. Harmonica, uh, wait, is that a system of a down song? Wait, what's that one? The <laughs> um, wait, no, that's not a system of a down song. Which song am I thinking of? No, I'm thinking of something totally different. No, I, I've never played the harmonica, no. Nope. I play, like, when it comes to guitar stuff, like weird, progressive, punk shit that just comes from my brain.
banjo? I mean, I was on tour once and we went to a music store that had a banjo and I picked it up and started playing it and just writing stuff on it, but I can't do like the all that triplet stuff with your fingers. I'm I'm not I can't do that. But I can like I, w I want to buy a banjo just so I can come up with my own little parts for it. But it wouldn't be just same with it. I don't play guitar like in a traditional way. And so like I wouldn't play banjo in a traditional way. Except I would want to learn. I'd want to learn that like traditional banjo style. I just don't know how to do it. Actually. Tempo is all over that. It gets so hard. I do this part so fast. I haven't really worked it out yet. sounds man I bet it sounds like shit on yeah I bet that sounds so bad I'm sitting here jamming out thinking it sounds so good because to me it sounds good but I bet through there it sounds bad any sick Angus Young type solos not in the open tuning I just tuned into but I'm you know no I don't do like traditional guitar at all like, I love Angus Young, I love ACDC. I, if I tune back up, I could play like Back in Black, or whatever, but. Let me see. But one, I was never, ever, and I was always kind of against like the whole being like a campfire guitar player. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever I would be, like, at a campfire, my friends would always be like, oh my god, play these songs. And I'd be like, no. Like, I play, I don't know those songs. I'd, like, write my own music. But how, what, how does it go? Hold on. I don't, I don't fucking remember that shit. No, I don't. <laughs> Sounds, I don't know, but I never, I never got into like soloing, like the blues style solos, I never, that was never me, I always like just wrote riffs and, and, and music and songs, but here, let me go back to, I don't even know why I just tried to do that. B.B. King is your dude. Yeah, B.B. King's tight. I, uh, when it comes to blues in me, though, I don't know. A lot of blues stuff. Like, when, 
I can get down on like Robert Johnson with his acoustic guitar, you know, shit like that. But a lot of blues stuff just got way too uh, John Mary for me, you know. I don't know. But I listen to like weird progressive fucking punk music and shit. play guitar like it's very much a percussive instrument a lot of beating up on the strings hitting a lot of open stuff but like that chord to me so beautiful wait now what I'm There's the stuffing. Where are we at on battery? Sam, we're about to die. Here, I'm plugging it in real quick. There's our stuffing, baby. Ouch! Ooh! Ooh, I just burned myself. You read my palm, what's my future say? Um, let me turn, or should I keep it going a little bit longer? Nah, that shit's good. 20 bucks for the info? Alright, I'll PayPal you after stream. Just tell me now. <laughs> Let's finish off this pineapple juice, like I said. Any of you Zoomers out there, your ladies will love you. 
10 is just the best fucking fruit juice that's out there, bro. Ooh, that's hot. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more cleaning now. Man, I'm excited to go back and hear how that sounded on stream. Just a unplugged electric guitar. No, but we always have pineapple juice on deck because we make, uh, like, that's how I eat fruit is I do, like, banana and pineapple smoothies with, uh, or banana and strawberry smoothies with pineapple juice. And so we always have a little bit extra that I just drink just because they taste so fucking good. Pretty much done. Still got some stuff to do, but we're getting there. How long have we been streaming? Two hours so far. Holy shit, uh, dude! This is happening more. Like I'm gonna be doing this. I just gotta figure out how to make alerts work better. Like I, I don't know if that calcium tax person followed earlier. Uh, uh, Alu mentioned that she followed, so I was able to know, but. Like if any, like when No More Hippie Chicks gifted Alu the sub, I had no idea until I saw Alu just had a sub symbol by her name. So that's, I gotta figure that out. But man, if I can figure this stuff out every day before stream, man, we're just gonna be doing cooking shit. But I don't always like, uh, like cook a lot. Like I just like, I'll make a salad or prep, like prep a salad with stuff we already have prepped. Like we usually have a lot of stuff cut and prep already, my girlfriend does that like uh or me um usually her though lately because i've been streaming so much but uh um yeah i'll like me, me making my salad my smoothies all that shit Um, I don't eat salmon. I'm a vegan, or I've been more of a vegetarian for the past while. My my lady's a, a hardcore strict vegan. Um, that's why I'm only doing like stuffing and mashed potatoes. She's not even into like any of the like stuffing stuff like that. So I'm just making this for myself. Um, but uh, yeah, even when I was into eating meat, I never really liked fish too much. I'd have salmon sometimes. But I was never the biggest. Out is stream okay? Okay, we're back. Are we good? We good? I think we're good. Okay. Um, but yeah, I I've been more of a vegetarian. Like I've had some stuff, uh, like some dairy products, like over the past like year. But for a while, I was pretty much a vegan. Didn't have any dairy, any meat. But I still haven't had any meat in like two and a half beer something like that now and I actually it's pretty good for me because I have uh, an iron disorder 
called hemochromatosis where all the iron that I intake in my body doesn't leave me. So it's the being like the opposite of anemic where people don't have enough iron. I have just like too much. <laughs> um, and if I didn't catch it and find out, yeah, basically I'm Iron Man. I know how to play that song, I'm pretty sure. I could play Paranoid. I can play some of those songs. I remember some of those here and there. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? The When I stopped eating meat is when, like, I, I stopped, like, having a, as much iron in my body. Like, you still get iron from plants, uh, certain plants and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of it, your body just, like, poops out anyway. Like, it's not even stuff that your body would even ever absorb. Uh, but, like, when I first found out I had the disease, I had enough iron in me for, like, ten people. To the point to where I had to have a pint of blood drawn from me a week. Every week. It was so fucked up. Um, and then it got to a point where my iron was pretty good. So then it was like every three months a pint and then every six months. And now it's like every six months, maybe even a year, especially because I don't eat any meat and I'm just not intaking this iron. That's just going to get stored in my body and my liver and my fucking heart and all this shit and my joints giving me freaking uh, arthritis, shit like that. If I didn't catch it though, like uh, people that don't catch hemochromatosis and they like end up in their 40s having like heart disease, lung disease, like cancers, liver disease, all this shit. Just because the iron just fucking eats away your body, I guess. But since I caught it, I'm good. I do, though, crave every once in a while like a filet mignon. Um, like, I, yeah, I, every once in a while I see like an Outback steak, a filet mignon, that Victoria's crown filet. I'm just like, oh, that looks good. Or I miss crab legs a lot. Crab legs, I, I used to eat those a lot when I was younger. Um, when it came to seafood. Seafood, it was crab legs. I liked lobster, then I stopped liking it. Um, but clams too. Steamed clams, I always liked those growing up. Yes, of course, dude. Yeah, he was parkouring all over the place. Um, okay. Just cleaning up the the area that I was working in, disinfecting things with soap. <clears throat> no, dude, you're good. That was funny. I love random non sequiturs. I actually have this role play character that I created that I, I never got to do because I just started doing all this variety stuff and stopped doing role play as much. Um, but it's a like a Skyrim NPC character that's a, a mercenary for hire like you always see and they, you always walk up to him and it's like, uh, I forget. Uh, but I just wrote down all these like random non sequiturs that I thought of that like random Skyrim characters would say and shit like that and I was just gonna like repeat those over and over like you can hire me as a mercenary I require 10 GP and then if they don't like pay me I'm like I require 10 GP please pay me 10 GP if you want me to travel with you fellow companion things like that and it was just all these random non sequiturs like follow me take the lead you want me to carry that for you <laughs> If your inventory is full, you can hand me stuff to carry. Um, okay, let me put the stuffing away now into some kind of a container. Okay. 
Ooh, it's still a little hot. I'm gonna wait a minute. Mm. I guess I'll start drying stuff. I wonder, can you, I know you guys probably can't hear the mariachi bass in the background. Some some people are having a party. It's usually the people right behind me having a party, but luckily they are not this year, thankfully. But I hear it from somewhere in the neighborhood, in the barrio. Nice, Maj. Man, I wish I had some nice vegan pumpkin pie. It'll be at night, like usual. Um, I'll try to go a little earlier tomorrow. We're, like I said, we're not gonna do it tonight. Uh, unless uh, when I get on the games here in a little bit, Zoop's done already and he's not playing WoW, then we'll play some DayZ if you're still awake. If not, then I'll just play WoW by myself. But um, uh, I still plan on playing WoW tonight, but tomorrow it'll just be at night like usual, night stream. Because literally, like, I fucking stayed up till 1 p.m. today. Like 12 or 1, something like that. I woke up like <laughs> 30, 40 minutes before I started this stream. I made a trip, to, I stayed up extra early um, so I could go to the dispensary this morning right when it opened so I didn't have to do it before stream. No worries, yeah, I, like I said, I don't know if we're gonna play tonight. I don't know if Zoop's even in chat anymore, what he's doing, if he's still playing WoW, if he fell asleep. But uh, I, if he's awake, I, I plan on hopping on WoW. I, I don't think we'll even do any like just chatting stuff when I start stream, this is pretty much that. But Madge, do you remember any of the servers that you liked back in the day? Because all I've really found that are good when it comes to the just the normal PvP stuff is Hideout, um, Day One, and there were these servers called Vendetta that were pretty cool, but they're kind of down right now. Yeah, man, don't don't stay up for me right now. Like I said, I plan on playing WoW anyway. At the beginning of stream, I left it kind of open. I said if Ref came in, I'd be down to play Daisy if he got it fixed because he couldn't get it working last night for some reason. Um, but then Zoop said he was playing WoW and wanted to do that, so that's what we doing.
Me too, actually. I got it around uh, maybe a little longer than two months ago. Whenever Summit and Shroud were playing it together, I got, I was like, oh, this is tight. And I was like, this will fix, or like, this will fill my zombie fix, you know, like for, like that I miss from back in like Cody's server days. And it kind of does. Like, it's cool though, because like you get like some PvP action in there if you want. And then uh, if you want like a straight RP server, there are those. And I just haven't been to any of those yet. Kids, roleplay is for fucking losers, bro. Who sits there in front of a fucking computer and takes up a fucking character and pretends they're not themselves? Like, what kind of a fucking loser does that? Guys, I gotta go to the bathroom. Like, can we just go in the bathroom together? Or is that TOS? I'm pretty sure that's TOS. I'm not gonna do that. I was just joking. Like, that, that wasn't even serious. But I was trying to think of a joke about the doctor disrespect going in the bathroom on stream, but it just ended up sounding way too serious, so. Oh, this is still hot AF. Um... For sure. Well, Madge, um, just a heads up, um, just so I don't have to deal with what I dealt with yesterday on stream, um, go and find like the hideout servers in DayZ and the launcher, and then also the day one servers, and make sure that you just have the mods downloaded for them. Do you have the DayZ SA launcher, or do you just use the normal DayZ launcher? Well, here, actually, but since we're going to get a shot of all the food we made, made in part by Supernova1054, moderator in chat. Let's get an open shot. This is what we doing. We got the stuffing that we've been making. We made that ourselves, except Supernova in the chat. She prepped the onions and the celery for us. Mashed potatoes. I uh, mashed them. Supernova boiled them and peeled them. Peeled them, then boiled them. But these actually came out really fucking good. And then this is a, a vegan gravy that Supernova made uh, a few days ago, something like that. And we got some of these King Hawaiian sweet rolls that we're going to make sandwiches out of. Just mix this all in there and eat little, little, little Thanksgiving sliders. One of my favorite things to do. Um, what was I going to say? Uh... Oh yeah, this is the one part that makes us not vegan now. It's a vegetarian meal because of these rolls. So, I think we're gonna make a roll just right now, actually. We're gonna make a roll right now. This is A. -A Lu, if you're still here. It's now a mukbang stream. Wait, is Alu the one that said they wanted a mukbang stream? Or they they were wondering if it was one? Well, it is now. 
Oh, I should heat up this gravy probably. That would be smart. So good. What's up, Zoop? There's vegan gravy right here my lady made the other day. Shouts out to Supernova in the chat. Gonna heat that up real quick, make ourselves a little Thanksgiving slider. Um, Zoop, were you here? Did you hear me playing guitar at all? And then Madge, if you're still here, let me know. We gotta talk about Day Z. Oh, okay, I just didn't know how long you were here for when you left or what. I didn't even know you bounced. Need a little bit longer. Ooh, that stuffing's good, man. What level are you? Eight. Are you, is that still the tutorial area then? I don't remember. I just did it the other day, and I feel like I, I remember the original WoW tutorials better. Oh my god, dude. These mashed potatoes are so good. Ooh. The stuffing is perfect on the top. It's crispy. And then you dig in the bottom. Nice and nice and wet. Oh yeah, I like it wet. That was Rick Grimes talking, not not in a band. Sorry. All right. So we're in the process of making. The perfect bite, chat. Do you guys know what the perfect bite is? I'm serious, he's serious size right now. I'm, I'm not even joking, the perfect bite. We have our bowl, mashed potatoes, stacked on top, stuffing stacked on top of that, you got your gravy. You, it's an even spread of gravy right on the top. You get your little dollop, put it there, and when it starts to heat, it's gonna spread, move outward to the rest of the bowl. You don't want to cover the whole bowl, then you're just gonna have a whole bowl of gravy. You don't want that. You don't want a mess of gravy. You want a nice little dollop. It's gonna spread with the heat. Heat expands. So, do this. Now, the mashed potatoes have been sitting out a little bit. They're a little, little cold, so we're just gonna microwave it. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I've already prepped our bun, our little Hawaiian roll right here. You see? Cut it in the middle. You know, a little slider bun. 
Sorry, Zoop. We can't wait for science. This is science right now. This is serious. Science can't wait. Unless you're going to get yourself a nice little Thanksgiving snack that we can share together at the same time. Okay, there we go. That's good now. See? Mix it in. You just want to get in there and make it nice. Oh, you know. Mmm. Perfect temperature. Oh. Magnifique. So now, it's gonna be a little tough to show this. Take your shit. Oh. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the in a band Thanksgiving slider, Thanksgiving stuffing slider, trademarked. And you're about to experience the perfect bite. Here we go. Mm. Mm. No more hippie chicks. Thank you so much for gifting that sub earlier. But yes, there's nothing better in life, like when you think about it, than like sitting down and eating some good food, you know? Or standing up, whatever, but just eating some good food. It's one of the best things in life. Going for round two. So you stuff it so much that you get your bite in there and it just starts pouring out the sides. Ah. Cheers. You know, it's like, of course, I'd rather be hanging out with the family on Thanksgiving, doing the normal thing, cooking with grams and everyone in the kitchen and stuff. But this is really nice. I really am enjoying this.
Who's with me? Pretty sure uh, Supernova's working out in the room. If we want, we could turn this into a workout stream and go in and work out with her. I'm just joking. She has no desire, but I'm slowly but surely like getting her into the idea of being a streamer. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm having a lot of fun. This is going to be happening a lot more. Especially when Supernova's down to be on stream and we're cooking out here together, I can just, just stream. Alright, this is just going to turn into her excuse to be like, oh no, you're cooking full time now, not me anymore. <laughs> Another thing I wish that I had, along with some vegan pumpkin pie, is the uh, the special drink that my family always makes. It's 7-Up and I think cranberry juice, so bomb. But we got a Raz Cranberry LaCree. Not that good. I drink all my pineapple juice. I have a whole can of it, but I don't feel like opening another can. Let's do another sandwich. Let's get it, let's get it going. Like I said, you gotta take your bun, cut it open a little bit. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap up the stream here in a minute. Let me finish, I'm gonna finish cleaning first actually. And then we're gonna wrap up. But we're just gonna go in the office and start another stream up. 
Um, but I'm, I'm gonna like do the starting screen for like 10 minutes so I can like go to the bathroom, uh, wash my phone off because my phone's just been all over the place, uh, do a couple other things. Um, but it'll just be like a 10 minute starting screen. I'm going to finish cleaning first. <laughs> 